Okay, so this is a follow-up to my last video on my 2023 Kingfisher Extreme Shallow 2175 with the 2.3 liter EcoBoost motor. So basically, I'm gonna use this to go over more details some of the accessories I ordered it with. Um, I didn't really touch much on those last times, so here we go. Uh, you can see I got a washdown station. Um, I ordered with that. The boat does come with your navigation lights. They're basically mounted on each side there and there of course you got the carpet on the side and then your rod holders are built in i'll probably add one to the engine compartment later as well but that's good enough for now each side of the motor you have storage compartment um this side here basically would be perfect for your second battery but only really came with one you also see there's an auxiliary fuel line with a, a, a shutoff valve um, basically it's all set up if you want to put a kicker motor on it so that was kind of nice Okay, there's your fuel filter. Um, no real complaints, but I will say this with the, the canvas top, when it's folded up and stored, it lays right across the back and it looks nice, but it does cover up that guy. And that's kind of annoying, but we can live with that. All right, other side, storage compartment. This is basically where you'll find your battery. Let's see, there's the battery right there. I haven't installed it yet, but I do have a battery cutoff switch, and I'll probably be doing that this weekend. So, okay, we move towards the front. Basically, underneath you'll find a ton, a ton of storage, and it goes way back up in there. This side, I have my my lithium batteries and the charger for it. Um, let me hop out, and I'll kind of show this off a little bit more. One thing I didn't, I don't think I know the last video, but I did order this with tinted windows. And they're kind of nice, to be honest. You can see the glass is actually tinted. So it's pretty good. Here is not the best picture, but kind of give you an idea of what that canvas top looks like when it's all set up. I have the slides or sides for it as well. I just didn't put them on for this video. The top and then also that window skirt uh, came from Canyon Marine. Uh, hopefully that window skirt, basically I had on my other boat, it's there to help prevent rock chips and stuff when you're towing it down the road. So a couple other accessories that the boat did come with. Uh, once again, you'll see here is the, the live well. I haven't used it yet, but it's pretty good sized. Uh, it comes with a captain's or a fisherman's chair. Uh, most of the time I just have that stored on a shelf. I don't really use it too much. And the front of the bow, huge, huge storage compartment. Nothing in there right now, but eventually I'll, I'm sure I'll find something to put in there. So, and then also the front is open. So you can see right here, it's pretty easy to get into more storage. Uh, I think I showed the light bars I built or these mounts last time. Basically though, that is for a fishing rod. And you can see here, it's pretty easy to use. You unlock it, pop right out. And then when the lights are on there, I have a rod holder in there. So uh, we've been out on the river now six times. And last night we stayed out late enough to actually use the lights. These ones aren't bright enough. I'll probably upgrade to like a four row instead of a two row. Um, I also added a two inch riser to kind of get them up so we can throw the light out there a little bit further. So. We move under the boat. These Kingfishers are nice because they come with these heavy duty plastic skid plates, which basically run the full bottom of the boat. You can see that there. Um, you can see here the aluminum is starting to get kind of discolored, but that's gonna happen. Well, we've been out on the river now six times, but the important part is the paint is holding up great. Now I do make a point to clean it basically after every single trip. I find that if you do that, the big uh, buildup that you get uh, from the Snake River on the side of the state is easy enough to clean. But if you let it sit on there, like I did in my old boat, after a while, man, that stuff does not want to come off for, for nothing. But basically, uh, after a trip out, I take a bucket of soapy water and I scrub it down good. And then I go over it with this hot sauce. Uh, so it's basically a vinegar and water and, and a little bit of uh, polish or gloss sealant in there as well. So smells smells like vinegar. 
but it works awesome. So, uh, nothing as far as issues to report. I'm sitting on about nine and a half hours right now. Uh, everything seems to be working the way that it's supposed to. Um, if I do have any issues though, I'll make sure I, I update you guys. Uh, but overall, I, I'm loving it. I mean, it rides great. It's got a ton of power. Um, last night with a full fuel tank, which is, you can see there right in the center of the boat, about 42 gallons. And three of us, no problem getting up on plane, going up river, easily doing 40. Um, and that's at about oh, 3,800 RPMs. I don't think that's too bad. Coming back down, we were hitting 46, and I wasn't even pushing it. So... I think the boat's gonna do just fine. Uh, here's another shot of the, the ultra deck. Uh, you can see it's back here on basically your swim platform. Engine compartment has it on there too. Uh, I'm not certain, but I think I basically got this thing ordered with just about every accessory and options that they offered. So, but so far we're loving it. Um, big old reverse bucket, so. That I didn't know I ordered. So it was a nice surprise when I showed up with that on there. I'm kind of glad I did. But, and there's your, on the outside, there's that quick connect for your uh, kicker motor if you put one on there. So, but that's a quick update. Uh, as always, if there's any other questions that you want to ask or, or want to know about, please let me know. Um, that's still the big unknown. Hopefully it'll hold up over time. Uh, there's a sand, sand trap on it. Uh, I know in the earlier days they weren't putting these on these uh, with these Eagle Boosts and they're causing some issues. So, but it's there now. Um, I'm coming up on 10 hours. At 10 hours, you got to do your first oil change, and so I should be doing that. Not this weekend. I'll do it next. I'll probably go over by a little bit, but that's okay. So, all right. Thanks, guys. Uh, let me know if there's anything else you want to know. Bye.